listeners, how are you? How are you? Yes, I am also fine. Today, I would like to teach you something about voice. I think from class 8, uh, 8 to 10, or 8 to 11, it is very essential for your exam. Not only for your exam, if you want to write something, let's keep it. For example, paragraph, letter, application, composition, a story, and everything. That means the writing part of your text or syllabus will be added by this topic, there is voice. So today I would like to teach you something about voices. So today our topic is word, voice change. So as you know there are two kinds of two kinds of voice. Number one is chances empty voice. Number two is passive voice. So first of all, let me teach you something about active voice. I am running a sentence. I am So what is the word is this? It is Read the sentence, my dear students, I eat banana. So first of all, to make, to change the voice, we have to move something. First of all, we have to have a good common word, tense. Number two, I go to tense, we have to take some to be verb. In case of present tense, we have to take a, e, s, r. In case of first tense, we will take was, square. And in case of perfect and continuous something, we will take B or B. So, what is it? Look at the board. I do two things. To make, to change voice, we have to, first we have to have good common word tense. That means all the structures, all the rules of tense. Then we have to take the help of this to be verb. For present tense, we have to take the help of MSR. For past tense, we have to take was and then being and being. So, my dear student, I wrote a sentence on the board, you can see. What is this? I is subject here, E is verb here, and object is banana. And you can find some expense in the sentence, that means, I eat banana in the morning with my family members, whenever I take breakfast. Morning. We need only to do things here, the subject, verb and object. So it is about acting because subject is I because the word is done by I. So I is subject here. And it is verb and banana is object. So whenever we will turn the sentence into basic, we have to do like this. First of all, we have to take the object. So object is here banana. So by just look at this. Part is eat here. Eat. So it is about present tense. So you have to take the help of to be verb and is are according to subject. So you can see here subject is banana. Subject is banana. So for this banana, you have to take the help of is. You have to take is as a to be verb. Because subject is banana, so banana's pronoun is eat. So we know that is is used for third person singular. Name. That means he, she, and he is is used. So for banana, we have taken is as an ordinary verb or to be verb. Then another thing is that whenever we will turn the sentence from active to passive, we have to use the first function form of the verb always. But yes, listen to me. Whenever we will turn the sentence into from active to passive, we have to use B3 form, that means first function form of the verb. So verb is here E, then the B3 from it is eaten. So banana is eaten. Then you have to take by. Then I was something in the sentence. Now I am adding I as an object. So the objective form of I is me. 
So what has been written here? What is written? Barna is subject. It has turned into subject. So according to subject, we have taken a verb with verb is or banana. And with the form of verb eat, ate, eaten. Then by, then subject form, object form of I. That means object form of subject is me. So totally has been written here like this. Banana is eaten by me. Then I am writing you another sentence. He saw me there. So my sir, look at the sentence. What is the subject here? He. But here saw. From where did you get the word? From C. So is the first form of C. So subject plus E2, then object. So my sir, look at this. The two objects you can see. First one is me and then another one is there. So we can take this as an object and it is about extension. So we do not uh, think about this. We have to take only three things. Subject, verb and object. So me object, when you will turn into subject, will be I. So by this we can see that verb is so, it is about past. So we have to take the uh, help of two verb here, was and oil, anyone. So here our subject is I, then we have to take was, because it is singular. It is singular, was. Then you can see it saw, then B3 form of C is seen. C saw, seen. I was seen. Then you can write extension, but you can read also, you can write also later, no problem. But if you write only then it will be easier for you. Then there. So I was seen there, then you can take by, then Objective form of he is what? Him. So, my dear, have you understood the two sentences here? First one is about present and the second one is about first. So, what we uh, have learned from here is that uh, in case of present tense, we have to take the help of few words and answer. In case of first tense, we have to take verbs was and oil as to be verb. Then now I am writing you another sentence. I shall call him. I shall call him. Like this. I shall invite him for the function. So my dear friend, look at the sentence. Here subject is I, then shell, then invite, then name, then for the function. So what about the tense here? You can see it is about future indefinite. Because I, subject, shell, will, then we want to learn the object. Then you can set the extension here. We do not need uh, to think about this. We only need three things. Then I told you, uh, subject, check out. Subject, shell, <laughs> Will plus be what plus object. So object will turn into subject. He will be he. He will be he. Then for I we use here shall, but now our subject is he. For he we will take will. So my dear, another thing is that after all modal auxiliary, whenever we will try out a sentence from active to passive. In case of this, we have to use be after all modal auxiliary. After all, what will it? He will be, then B3 form of verb, what? Invite. Invite will be turned into invited. B3 form of verb, invite is invited. So he will be invited. Now we shall write about extension for the function. For the function. Then by, then I will turn it into B. Because me is the objective form of I. So my dear friend, I practiced here, I wrote about three sentences today. You can see, first one present meaning, then first, then future meaning. So from these three sentences, what differences have you seen there? I am repeating again, first of all, I wrote about present meaning, the next one is about past meaning, and the last one is about future meaning. So for three sentences, for three sentences, we have changed only to be verb or auxiliary verb, nothing else. You can say, my dear student, banana is eat, has been turned into eaten, 
Soul has been turned into seed, and inverse has been turned into inverse. So I change only, I change only to be verb. In all sentences, I go to tabs, I have changed them to only to be verb. Then by, then objective form of subject, then extension. Or you can write extension from the sentence before by, no problem. So easy thing. But is, have you understood this? Do you have any problem? Do you, don't you have any problem? Thank you. I know you are a beginner student. You are sincere. Yeah, I am proud of you. I am proud of you. Now, my dear students, I am going to write another sentence. It's about present continuous sense. He is helping me. Helping me to do the work. So, my dear students, what kinds of tense it is? I know. Very good. You are good students. It is about present continuous. Yes. Rabbi is a good student. Rabbi is a good student. Thank you. Subject plus to be born and is served then I am here then only. It is about present continuous. Here, students, have you understood this? It is about present continuous. So, object is here me. Me will be turned into I. Good student. Then, it is a instruction. I do not need to think about this. For I, I will take M. I will take M. Then, B. For ING, I have taken here B as an auxiliary form. B. Then I wrote here. I am being, then help will be turned into help. Help will be turned into help. This B3 form of help. Then you can write first extension to do the work. I, he will be turned into K. But yes, sir, have you understood this? Yes? Thank you. Please raise up your hand who have understood this. Raise up your hand, please. Raise up your hand. Okay, thank you. Now write another sentence. They were they were killing the rat. That means uh, what kinds of things it is? It is about fast continuous. Subject plus was here, then continuous form of verb, then object. So object here is red. Red will be subject. Red will be subject. Very good. They, for they, we have used here wire. Now our subject is the red. It is third person singular. For the red, we will take was because it is singular. Because it is singular. Was. For ing, we will take B. For ing, we will take B. Then you can see what is here kill. So, kill. Very good. Robin is a good student. Yes, good student. The red was being killed. Why? They will turn into them. Yes. Now, Kulsum said, Kulsum said, what is subject here? What is subject here? The red. Very good, Kulsum. The question. The red. For the red, we have taken about here was. So, who can tell me why, why I use being here? Who can tell me? Sharmi, a good student. We are a good student. We have used be here for ing. For ing. So be. So kill has been turned into kill. B3. Then by. And they will be turned into that. As an object. Is it? So my dear have you understood this? Okay. Now come to the next one. She will be singing the song. Loudly. She will be, oh, I can write some extension in the function. In the function. So, my dear sir, what kind of test case look at this? Look at the board. She will be singing the song loudly in the function. Who can tell me what kind of test it is? Future? Your brilliant student. Karamoth is a good student. Karamoth is a good student. She will be singing the song loudly in the function. It is about Future continue. 
They are to hear the song, so give me some there the song. So for song we will take, we will take, we will, then you will be no change. Then for IG, for IG, what will take? B. Very good. Good student. B. Sing and with the sing, say, son. Sing, say, son. Not sing, son. Or you can say big bang, big bang, bang. Big bang, bang. Sing, say, son. So the song we be doing, son. It is our instruction. You can write this. Love me in the function by she. She will be. Understand? Do you have any question about the topic? Have you understood this? So today we have practiced six tenses. First of all, present infinitive, past infinitive, future infinitive, and present continuous, past continuous, future So my understand? If you have any question, please ask me. No problem. Without any hesitation. No problem. You can ask me, I will, I will make you understand again. Do you have any question? Do you have any question? No. So now, take some ESW, then I will uh, check you tomorrow. In the, in the next class, I will check you. ESW. And uh, I will also make you understand the uh, rest part of the topic. Because we didn't, uh, I didn't make you understand today about uh, incredible sentence, about uh, other other sentences, other classes. So, two more time. So now, uh, write down the SW. Take the notes. Take the notes, please. From all all tenses, all tenses that I told you. I told you today about six tenses. How many tenses? Six tenses. From six tenses, from one tense, from one tense, we have to make practice five sentences. Five sentences. For six tenses, we have write five into six. That means thirty sentences. Thirty sentences. Have you understood? So to do after this, participant, uh, please practice this. I will check you as of you and give you a second song. Uh, don't go outside because our uh, present condition is not so well. So don't go outside without any reason, without any uh, very essentiality, let's stay home and let's stay safe. Thank you very much, Sudha. Bye.